Hi, you're watching another popping tutorial with Liz Popping Balloons. I am showing you how I created this balloon awareness ribbon. This can be used for many different causes, and I'm using green for Mental Health Awareness Month. I did start off using a hand pump because I wanted to see how many pumps it would take um, in order to get the perfect size, and it took a pump and a half, but to make it easier, you can definitely use two pumps. Um, this will size about four inches, and you're using all five-inch balloons. Um, right now, you see me using my Legenda Dual Sizer. It sizes things perfectly for you, so... I am using 0 0.03 to size it, and that still gives me about a three to four inch balloon. In total, you will need 164 balloons to create this balloon ribbon. You will need fish and line and two 260 balloons. So once I inflated all 41 quads, that's a total of 164 balloons. I go ahead and use my fishing line and attach it to my first quad by putting it in the center of the balloon and tying two knots. With this method, you're just stacking each quad on top of the last quad and using the figure eight motion. So you're stacking, then you go underneath the uh, last quad with your fishing line, and then you figure eight to the top of your quads. You just repeat that motion. You see how my left hand is pressing down on the balloons as well as my right hand pulling up on the fishing line so you just want to make sure that you're tugging and making sure that it's nice and tight you don't need any loose um, balloons because it will not give you the design you desire so you will be stacking 31 quads um, i know i told you you need 41 but you will do the other 10 just same way however you only need 31 to start off and you just continue to repeat the stack in motion and the figure eight um, to attach each balloon to the last quad uh, and making sure that you're pulling uh, the fishing line so it's not leaving any slack. As I finish up the 31 quads, I leave some slack from my fishing line after I attach it to the last quad. I tie a knot at the end of it and then I get ready to make the round hoop for the ribbon. So I'm on the last quad for the 31 section and I'm just tying that fishing line, making a knot, and then I count up to 10 from the bottom, and that's where you're going to bend your remainder balloons to the center uh, using a 260 to attach it. You want to go ahead, then uh, string up your 10 remaining balloons because that's your other section of your ribbon. And you're just going to attach that using a 260 as well, making sure it's lined up and you don't have to uh, make it tight or anything like that. You're just wrapping it around a few times, securing it to the center. And now you are complete with your awareness ribbon. So I wanted to make sure that I had something for the balloon to sit on or be tall. So I decided to use a column, but my columns are all pieced together because they are lamp stands from Walmart. Um, so they come in different colors, gray, brown, silver, and I use different heights. So I'll just pick whichever um, pole, you know, that I have available. Um, but what I'm doing is putting an 11 inch balloon on top of my lamp stand pole. And then I'm tying a knot with the 260. I only inflate that about a pump and a half. I tie a knot at the top. And then as you push the air down, uh, the balloon will cover and wrap the pole. Uh, you want to get to the end, you clip the tail, and then you wrap that twice. Um, you repeat that step and you want to cover 
the nozzles as well so you would go for what's your second 260 go a little bit above where you left off and you just continue to wrap the um 260 around the pole you want to put some pressure on that pole so it doesn't wobble all around so i'm using my foot right there and then you just knot it off and then repeat that step until you cover as much of the pole as you need Thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel, Liz Poppin' Balloons. Leave a comment on what you would like to see next. Have a great day.